All right, so if you clicked on here, you're curious to see what PS1 RPG I have played yes. for 76 hours. No, no. You played more. it for more than 76 hours, but that's anyway, what I'll get into that are. in a minute. But anyway, the reason why I haven't said what this game is right now is because I wanted it to be a surprise for a friend, a YouTube yes. friend that had yeah. sent it to us about this time last year. And then you reminded me <laughs> when you added that clip to a different video here, like I think it was in the summertime, or yes. maybe it was shortly after was just... a break when we did the, you did the paintings. Yes. And then I seen myself say I was gonna play it this year. So if if he doesn't know by now, with the shirts, Grandia, this is Mondain's favorite game. Yes. He has told us plenty of stories where he hands out these games to his friends and stuff. So anyway, being the nicest guy on YouTube, because I've said this more than once, uh -huh. he sends it as a surprise. Yeah. <laughs> told you about it. He he is seriously one of the nicest guys on YouTube. He is just such a community person. Like it. Oh yeah. I, it had to be played, and I didn't even play it, and I feel kind of like. Not emotional about it, but like a little bit overwhelmed, like by the generosity well, and yeah. how amazing yeah, yeah. that that this is, and just the fact that you played it, it it's yeah. more special because it came from a friend. Yeah. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get into my typical review style after I do a community pick because originally before I seen that clip, this was gonna be part of a th three game community pick. Yes. And I'll tell you guys what the games were. It was gonna be Grandia. Yep. Sweet Coden, number one, and Wild Arms. Mm -hmm. Those are the three games I was choosing to put in the community pick, let everybody choose. And I, but then I was like, no, I'll never, if they don't choose Grandia for some reason, then I, I'll never have time to get through two big exactly. RPGs. Exactly. So, played this one. I'll save Sweet Coden and, and uh, Wild Arms for my next maybe community pick yeah, there. And, and I'll add throw, another one. And if you guys have any suggestions what I should throw in there for a third pick. Yeah. Feel free in the comments. What's your favorite RPG? Throw it in there. Without further ado, let's jump into Grandia. Yes, so as we always start this, it always starts with story because I think that a game lives and dies by that story, especially when you're talking about an RPG. So, story. Story was really good. Now, mind you, when I'm saying this, I don't have a huge history with RPGs because I only really got into it here within the last, within two years. Yeah, Probably for sure. I'm rolling uh, up on the two year mark on yeah. when I started playing my RPGs. Typically, a, a, a hero, you're a hero, mm -hmm. you're trying to save the world, this and that, and it didn't start off like that at all. And Mondain had told us that when he was describing the yes. game. You're Justin, and I haven't gone and looked up seeing what his exact age was. I feel like Justin was probably around 15. And you have a friend, a little girl, yeah. Sue. I feel like she was quite a bit younger. Like if I had to guess, I'd say she was like six to eight or something yeah. like that, right? So anyway, you want to go on an adventure because Justin's dad was an adventurer or whatever, and, and he left you a soul stone. This thing here is what everybody, antagonists, that's what they're after. That's what this they're is after, the key. okay. Justin just wants to be an adventurer. Yeah, right? so Justin doesn't really know that this soul stone is covenant. He, he knows, well, he knows everyone. there's a, like a, a myth or whatever, a okay. legend involved with this soul stone, but he, it, it was... Nobody thought it was real, okay. right? And that's how that all okay. happens. And he wants to see the end of the world there, like because they 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 say there's an end of the world because there's a big wall. Oh, okay. Yeah, they, they, almost like the Great Wall of China there. You know that that's the end of the world. Are they flat earthers? They, <laughs> maybe he runs into other people, other characters that help build his character. One of those characters you do run into is kind of a love interest. Mm -hmm. So Fina. Fina. I almost got the impression that she might have been a year or two older than Justin, even though girls mature earlier than Yes, that. yes. There are certain parts of the game that I, I won't forget. And one of them is when they were on the boat and they were going towards, right before you hit the uh, Mermaid Island, it was nighttime and she was on the boat and he wakes up and he goes out and he talks to her and it's like, you know, full moon and it's romantic and, and she's really laying down hints there and him just being a young boy, young man or whatever, just not, I'm like, dude, kiss her, dude, just give her a kiss, <laughs> dude, she wants you, dude, just, <laughs> Did you say that to the I'm like, yeah, I'm like, <laughs> But he's so nervous or shy or whatever it is, and he just doesn't clue into he's it, right? He's very yeah. green. Oh, very green, very green. Uh, I, I don't want to give away too much of the story, but Sue is in your main party mm -hmm. until uh, maybe a third of the game, maybe a quarter, and then they just, she decides like she's too young, she can't, 
she can't handle the you know physical you know these yes. adventures and yeah. battles and stuff you're having so yeah. she goes back home okay and then you add other characters so it's mostly just uh justin, justin and, Fina, and, Fina. and then you run into other characters and i don't want to spoil too much there because uh, every all these characters are pretty cool starts off as a young boy being in a going wanting to go for an adventure ends up being in a situation where, where you're to trying save to save the world but more he's more like trying to save all his friends like Aww. that's, that's cool, kind of more what it is there yeah and i don't think this is much of a spoiler but when the game is all done i thought it was really cool after the credits all roll and everything it cuts to i think it's 10 years later yeah and then you see sue and then she's a young woman yeah and then she goes to the the pier because their boat's coming in because it's justin and fina coming back from a long adventure and, blah, blah, blah. and they come back the ship docks and then there's five kids coming right out of the ship there. I Justin learned to do some Yeah, Justin not green so much anymore now. <laughs> but yeah, it's like he's got three boys all kind of look like him. And then there's two girls. Oh, <laughs> they look like Fina? Yeah, they have yeah. green hair. Oh, you can see yeah. yeah, so it's pretty cool. Kind of an upbeat night. A good feeling, good feel story. It was something that I needed to play like so at this point in my life. Because yes. uh, I almost had to take a small break. When you were taking a break from YouTube with paintings... Yeah. I had started the new job and I had found it was really yeah, so physically you were really, demanding. Really and I was exhausted at night and I, I didn't have time to play a game. I played on the weekend basically with me, you, and Dennis, but yeah. I had no just me time to sit exactly. down and play a game. Like, and I think you were missing that because you I were was playing missing a lot of big co op games, big but time, you weren't yeah. playing anything that you were like, you were just you passionate about. Just yes. for you. Yeah. And I think that came along at a great time. And because it was a feel good it. story, I needed it. It, it that, really, that's, really that's helped. That's what I needed. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. And it's so crazy when a game can do that for you, get you past a bump in your mm -hmm. life and make you feel better about your situation. I You're did. Like, I can get over I this. Was, I, was, I was feeling pretty down there yeah. for a while. Yeah. Like, I made a big mistake switching jobs. And yeah. It was very physically demanding and yeah. all that there, and I, I really needed this. You did. Yeah. Yeah. You did. So, difficulty-wise, now that we're done with story... As far as difficulty goes, uh, if I had to say it's hard or easy or whatever, I would say, just the, in the style that I played it, I found it easy. Go into an area. It's not random encounters. You see the enemies. You can choose to avoid them, run away from them, or whatever, or you can just walk straight into them and attack them. I found that it's actually just better to just you see something and go kick his ass. Well, that's better because when you're talking about an RPG, you need to level up your characters. Yep. So if you want to get to the end of the game it's, and fucking struggle, doing that, then didn't, don't. Doing that didn't feel grindy at all. No. It just, I was just going in. You were in. enjoying it. I was just taking my time, my own pace. It allowed me to explore the maps a lot better. Once I knew that area of that map was clear, I could just run. I didn't have to worry about an enemy running into me. Now, when I said there, it's better just go after the enemy and attack them, because then I initiated the fight, I get the first crack. Yes. At, you know, okay, if, that's good. If for some reason I try to run past them and they, ambush. they clip the, my back guy, yeah. they ambush me. Yes. They get first attack. Okay. Changes the mechanic. Kind of like bit. a chess match. Kind of, I guess. Yeah. I really like that mechanic of it. And there's like a, like a, almost like a meter, and you see the enemies, and you see okay. yourselves, mm -hmm. and it's like a timer. And it goes, once you get to the end, you get to attack. When the enemy are going and it gets close to the meter they'll have like i call them like orange sparkles yeah like he's loading up an attack oh, okay. if i attack that guy it like stops him dead for a second it oh, gives me more time nice if there's three enemies you can kind of okay. pick how and you can hold them at a standstill before they can actually get an attack off i had more than enough money more than enough resources more than enough experience points. For I was level 40 when I got to the last boss. There are three optional dungeons, yes, I think. Yes. That's what we looked up. Yeah. The one that I had struggled with was the Soldier's Graveyard, graveyard I think I it's think called. So. You go in, it's like all underground. It's like it's caves and stuff like mm -hmm. that. I didn't know there was optional dungeons. I didn't... It, it tells you once you go in there. This is yes. not part of the main story. Do you want to... I'm like, ah, oh, fuck yeah. Let's but you it. know what? You didn't look up almost anything no. you played very blind oh yeah you i just wanted to enjoy it and, and that's it. how i like to play my rpgs unless yes. i really get stuck is i just yes. want to go in and play it like i would have experienced it back in you know the 90s or whatever yeah. when it came out yeah. yeah that dungeon you go in and you have a save point and there's little save points they look kind of like a almost like a tp shape mm -hmm. kind of rainbow yes. colored yeah you can restore everything there as many times as you want so you can restore your health and oh, all your nice. magic and all that stuff and you have that's you can awesome. save but there's that's the only one so then you're going through the dungeon 
And I yeah. think there's got to be at least four levels to that dungeon, maybe. And one big one boss. I think it's called Kung Fu Master or something like that. First time I went in there, went in there completely blind. I did the same normal way I've been attacking everything is just go in and exterminate everything. I would run back, hit me, get my restore, my health before I went down to the next yeah. level. Going down to the next level, I'm like, oh well, shit, I don't see another save point there now. So I get into the third level. Yeah. Right? And then I got to the uh, the main fight and I beat him, but he just I didn't attack him well and it just it just drained my resources there for yeah. magic, my SP for my, my big attacks and yeah. stuff like that. I had nothing mm -hmm. at the end, but I did beat him. And then you go and you can get some weapons and chests, but as soon as yeah. I go in and I get that chest, open it up, boom, a bunch of enemies spawn that you have to go out of the dungeon. Yeah. And I had nothing left in the tank. <laughs> so I ended up dying. And I was like, oh my god, I have to go through that whole thing again. So I'm like, okay, next time I'm going to run. I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna fight every enemy. Yeah. I'm gonna run past it. And that was a a mistake because there's like these yeah. blue fire wolf <laughs> things I uh, just of me being if they ambush you mind. you are just getting fucking obliterated tell us about the difficulty that if you don't play it on a playstation this, one this is your most important piece of equipment here when you're going to play this game apparently and i didn't know that because i was playing it on my ps2 slim yeah i don't know if there's a difference between the slim and the fat as yeah, far as that goes, but this game had froze on me at, at least five times. So the fourth time was in the graveyard. The second time I was going in, mm -hmm. I had got I had got my ass kicked all the way, trying to run around enemies and all yeah. that, and then got to the Kung Fu Master, and in the middle of that, I, th I don't know if it just beat him or if it was going in, but it was in that time span, the game fucking froze again. I yeah. nearly lost I my gonna... shit. I was like, are you yeah. kidding me? I gotta go through that all again? Yes, and it didn't even dawn us on us for a second that it would have been the game. Well, and no, I is... took the disc out every time and cleaned it, and I'm looking at and it, and I'm like, there's immaculate. nothing it's wrong with it. Immaculate. Yeah. The PS2, for some reason, tries to load diff two different soundtracks. You're in a room, and that, that room has music, but then you go into a battle, and then it goes changes the music. I, I, it, it, yeah. well, I understand. Anyway, it's not a difficult game. No, but those if you're options, just willing to win, and like, just I'm just gonna clear the map. Yeah. Explore everything. Get everything. Yeah. Move on with the story. And, and you'll level up easy, as you go, easy. and it'll be easy. I, the last boss was easy. I didn't yeah. Have, I didn't have a hard time. I was level 40 with Justin. I know right at my last save point. Yeah. And that was 76 hours in, so I'm a little over that. And plus the times the game froze and I lost progress, I'm probably well over 80. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Gameplay. Like I said before, with the timing and the, mm -hmm. the attacks there was really fun. But did the gameplay feel smooth and fluid? Like, did everything oh. feel good? Yeah, I can't complain about yeah. it. Especially after I switched to the PS, I never had I never had a single freeze after this, after I switched. And can we mention too, that you did not play with a PlayStation controller? You can see the dongle in yeah. here. I played with my Defenders. Yeah, with the yeah. Defender, and, yeah. it, and you really, really enjoyed it. I like that. Yeah, yeah, it played well. See, I don't, I always worry about those new controllers, especially mm -hmm. with an, uh, the dongle if there's going to be an input light but yeah when you're playing an rpg it doesn't matter it doesn't really matter yeah i have no complaints at all in comparison to other rpgs you've played it it didn't lack anything it, no like it, it was even, right on par with everything it, it was the battles were fun enough that like i said i just was going in in the, having the mentality that i'm just going to exterminate that says a lot yeah. because when you're thinking about how the a burden of what like it could be a burden to think holy shit this is a 70 80 hour game that that weighs uh, heavy sometimes that scares people yeah that scares people I mean, away i actually started this game before halloween i know because i had a vacation uh first week of november yeah I think you it was. did yeah or second week of november second and i had november. had started it way before that and i was like i'm gonna get a lot of gameplay and i did i got you probably did. 20 hours in on that week that i yeah I took a vacation well, you expected this to take you till christmas you i were... was like i want to get it done before the end yeah. of the year if it takes me right up until mm -hmm. my christmas kind of break where i have few yeah days new off year's eve be like hey yeah mwah. okay cool <laughs> go away i gotta play a game i gotta the clock is ticking dude clock's ticking <laughs> It's that it was really enjoyable. I know. Overall, gameplay wise, story wise, difficulty was I found it was Do you know easy, how so I knew you stressful. were enjoying the gameplay? Hmm. We usually we'll get up, have breakfast, and you'll work out and we'll walk the dog and then in the afternoon we'll play games. Mm. Well, we started getting up first thing in the morning instead of sitting on the couch and watching TV. Watching YouTube. We would come right downstairs, play yep. for a few hours, 
then do a few things, then come back down and play some yeah, more. That was and my I was Sundays. Like, it was my Sunday RPG day. I was yeah. like, I really meant I wanted Sunday to be the day that I focused on. Which was great for me, so I got to play. More you knocked too. off a bunch of games in a span off. that I, that I took did. me to play through that. I yeah. did. And uh, so I think we've covered everything about gameplay every which way we can. Yeah. Let's go on to graphics. And I know from watching you play on the CRT, I thought it was pretty impressive. I liked it. I they hold up well. I thought it was really, really nice. Now, there is an HD. Uh, collection I think you can get on yeah. the Switch. Mm -hmm. I think it was maybe a year and a half ago or more when they had it on limited run and I kind of opted not to get it at yeah. that point. I don't I I think I kind of regret it now because that game is $120 yeah. plus Canadian yeah. trying to get the HD. But if you had to have one over the other. I would have, I'd rather yeah, have exactly. this. Yeah, exactly. But I have the second one already on the uh, Dreamcast, so that's mm -hmm. the way I planned on playing it anyway. Graphics look great, especially the cutscenes. Yeah, yeah, I was watching the animated a few of the cutscenes. Cutscenes were really nice. There, mm -hmm. yeah. You had me film the last cutscene. Well, not the very last because my camera was like, my phone <laughs> was like, out. we're full, yeah. and it ran out. But I did film a bunch of that at the end, and I, I was just like, oh, this is really pretty. Like it I was, was just watching good. it. And I was like, yeah. I really enjoy this. It, but yeah. everything felt felt very saturated, not okay. muddy at all. No, because I know not muddy at all. No, the colors are nice and popping. They're yeah. bright. They're Sometimes a PS1 game, like uh, don't yeah. get me wrong, I loved Final Fantasy VII, but it felt a bit muddy yeah. at times, and I didn't get that from Not when I was watching no, no. you play Grandia, so I, I have no complaints about the graphics either. What about music and sound? The voice acting in it, for the most most of it, was like really good voice mm -hmm. acting. There was a couple times where I was like, that was a little cringy there and kind of corny, but yeah, but... I remember when yeah. it first came on, the voice acting with Frister, I was like blown away. I was like, fuck, I hope, is this the whole game going to be like this? Because they would be nuts. I think I remember you saying yeah. that to me too. Like, You're like, oh my nuts. god. Yeah, it was really freaking good. Uh, like I said, I was shocked at the voice acting, how well it was. Yeah. And I was blown away. I was like, this is going to be Did any of the music awesome. get caught in your head? Yeah, some of it got caught in my head. Some of it started to get a little monotonous there. Like I, It was like repetitive, repetitive, yes. repetitive. Because I was doing so much battling constantly mm -hmm. all the time. Yeah. There were some that was really good, like especially when you got in the cutscenes, the music was beautiful. But then when there's other dungeons where the, I found like some of the music was, it was like kind of repetitive there. Yeah, like, there oh, wasn't okay, a long enough like, loop that it felt like it was, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 but overall, really good music. Because I didn't yeah. get to hear a lot of it, but yeah. I got to hear a little bit and uh, yeah, I... I thought it was really nice, but I knew what you meant by the repetitiveness of yeah, some of it. Some of it was, yeah, a little bit on the repetitive side, but yeah. nothing, nothing. Nothing to complain off. about, no. definitely. No. So, value and replayability. See, I don't know what this game goes for now. It is closer to the $90 complete. So you're looking at 70 hours plus to enjoy all of it. And I think I even, I even missed one of those side dungeons. Yeah, you did. Yeah. And if you're comparing this against a new game, it's a little bit cheaper. Like a well, brand new triple A title yeah. game. Like if I were to go get a PS5 game right now, I'm oh, I'm I'm over that. Yeah. Yeah, because I'd have to throw taxes on top of that. Exactly, you know? and it doesn't have a reputation yet. Like you don't know exactly. If the game's good. There, the, we you know can this go game and look up ratings good. and what people think. Or if you're watching this video and you haven't played it yet, they're like. I'd highly recommend it there. Like, you're gonna get like if you like RPGs or you want to get into RPGs, this would be a great one to start with. Yeah, it's not overly difficult. Yeah. Though. So overall, what I, you know, I want to ask you stupid questions. She keeps that are gonna doing this to me there, like trying to get me to compare this to like other RPGs that I played because I played through Chrono Trigger this year. Yeah. And she's like, where does that compare with Chrono? I'm like, fuck off! I'm not doing that. I won't ask you that then. I guess yeah. I'll ask you this: Do you think? Knowing it came from such a good friend factors in at all from for your overall enjoyment. Do you think? Uh, do you think that plays it, in? It definitely has yeah. more of a sentimental value. Yeah, it means more to me. It there. means more to yeah. you. That's what I was kind of. But even if not, it's still a really good RPG. Like yeah. My first RPG, turn-based RPG, was Skies of Arcadia. Yeah. Love it. I still love it, and it holds a special. You know, it spot there for me because that's the one that turns started you into me. A yeah. RPG gamer. But as much as I love that, that this the story and the gameplay and everything is all up there with that. Yeah. Chrono Trigger I played here early this year and I love that and this this is like I played Chrono Trigger and Grandi in the same year and yeah. You asked me to what's going to be your favorite game? I can't fucking pick. I don't know. Yeah, so, it's it's I hard. don't want to pick. Well, that's 
that's just the thing. It's hard if they've both had such great stories. They yeah. have their own what made them special about yeah. them. So it's maybe yeah. like I don't know, maybe a year or two now after three like you, you really marinate marinates in, in my head there for a while. Maybe I could pick one or the other, but right now I don't even want to because yeah. I enjoyed them both. I feel like at some point in the years to come, no. we're gonna make a list of all the ones you played, and I'm gonna go. You're gonna put them in order. <laughs> no. <laughs> you're like, I want a divorce. I could, I could give you a one to ten of the survival horror I played this year, and it's not gonna be that hard because the story's not as intense. This is so You're story. Not committing the time to no. getting to know the characters. No, exactly. You know, like it's so story heavy that it I, it gets to you. I thought I was gonna finish it say the Sunday before, and I yeah. didn't say I finished it on Tuesday. I think it was Tuesday. It evening. was it was Tuesday. You were pushing like, are you gonna finish it today? If you're gonna finish it today, and I got to a point, I was like, no, 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 this is a good spot. I'm gonna save, and I was like, because I didn't want to be done. I was like, I just want one more day. I just want one more Aww. day with it. And then I played on uh, Monday, and I got to the point where I was okay. I'm I'm in the last dungeon. Yes. Yeah. I got to a point where I was like, all right, okay, this is it's like getting to like nine o'clock in the evening yeah. there, and I need a couple hours of wine now before I go to bed. And so I was like, all right, I'm I'm gonna save it here, and then I get another day. You get another yeah, day. Yeah, and, and I didn't think it was gonna take me very long to play through it. I thought I was gonna start that game up at like seven and be done within the hour but oh, i think no. it was like 10 10 it 30. Was 10 30. i think i put like another three hours in at that point yeah so overall you loved it loved it and you liked it more than chrono trigger i'm <laughs> just kidding i'm just kidding at the end of the day you're just so happy you got to finish this game by the end yep. of the year you promised mundane you would He's a sweetheart for sending it to us. Yeah, all well, just like time, big time. Just have yeah. to say a huge thank well, you to you. you. Can, well, you you sent him the painting. And the yes. painting was Justin. Yes, so I had that's to... his favorite character in the game. Yeah, and I'm kind of jealous now because that's a pretty cool painting. <laughs> <laughs> now we got to make another Justin painting. <laughs> yeah. Oh god! All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this video again. Thank you so much to Mondane. In comments, please. Any new RP or any new old RPGs? Any what's what's your favorite RPG yeah. you played this year? Because we're coming on the end of the year. Uh, any RPGs you'd recommend? I'm especially into the PS1 kind of yeah. turn-based stuff. But recommendations, yeah. guys, because I'm still quite new. Yeah, put them on down there. Yep. And until next time, do you want to cheers coffee and iced tea? Boy, we're lame. Right, Game nerd. on. <laughs> Did you call me a nerd? Yeah. Okay, whatever, nerd. <laughs> <laughs>